Hey guys, Richard Holden here. I know you have a lot of options, so hey, thanks for joining me. Let's answer the age-old question. Richard, I'm looking for more torque, you know, for a truck to do some towing. Can I get away with an LS, you know, like a 4.8 or a 5.3, maybe a 6.0, or should I step up to a big block? That is an excellent question, so let's find out. In this video, we have a comparison between what is essentially a bigger motor versus a better motor. Now, we all know the LS engine family replaced the big block Chevy, even in trucks for heavy-duty towing applications, because let's face it, it's modern, it's new, it makes more power. It's basically a better motor. But here's the question. Just because it's better doesn't mean that it's bigger. And why would we want it to be bigger? Well, bigger motors make more torque. So let's find out if the bigger motor is actually better than the better motor down low where it's important. Hey guys, before we get going on this video, make sure to join me live nightly 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you've got questions about any aspect, performance, cylinder heads, camshafts, any motor, doesn't have to be an LS, doesn't have to be a small block Chevy, can be a big block, can be a Honda, I've tested it all. If you've got a question, chances are I have an answer or somebody else on the live feed also might have an answer. If you've got a question, remember, join us live 7 p.m. live on YouTube Let's get to our video. Today, I know I promised you a comparison between the 6 liter and the 454, and we're going to get to that. But first, we want to take a look at some of the other LS stuff, because quite frankly, it's fairly hard to go to the wrecking yard and actually find a 6 liter. I know, because I look for them all the time. I do see way more 454 Chevys, but what I see more often than not are 48 and 53. So I also want to include those guys, because those are actually the guys that might be wanting or thinking about upgrading to get more torque for their combination. So let's take a look at a comparison between a stock, 4.8 and a 5.3, and then we can compare the 6.0 and the 4.54 and kind of jumble it all together and find out which one makes more torque. Should be fairly obvious. So this is our 4.8 liter. This is a stock one as we get it from the wrecking yard. We ran it with a stock throttle body, uh, not a drive-by wire, obviously a mechanical one. We ran this thing with headers. We ran it with a stock truck intake and everything else basically being stock. We run it with no accessories, obviously an optimized tune. And this is a little colder than you would be running in the car as well, which is why it makes more power than the factory rating. But pay attention to the you know, the stuff that's happening below 4,000 RPM right now, because that's what we're thinking about for towing applications. What, how, how do these things perform? So our 4.8 liter made 333 horsepower and 343 foot-pounds of torque. So not too bad. You can see it's making peak power out here at uh, 54, 5,500, making peak torque at 4,800 RPM. But if you're thinking about more low speed power, obviously the first thing that you want to think about is getting a bigger motor. So getting a 5.3 liter, it does make more power in this case. And, and again, we're comparing two junkyard motors. So these are not absolute numbers because one of them may have had a good life and been well taken care of, the other one not. Both of these are fairly high mileage deals, but I've run a lot of these and these are kind of where the numbers come in. This particular 5.3 produced 353 horsepower, Peak torque was up quite a bit more compared to the little 4.8, 384 foot-pounds. But what I, what I want you to take a look at is what's happening down here at 25 or 2600 RPM. I wish I would have loaded the other one down to 2000, but it still would have been a good 50 foot-pounds better than the 4.8 liter just because it's bigger. <laughs> they have the same, basically everything is the same on them. They have the really close to the exact same compression. They have the same cylinder head. They have the same uh, intake manifold. They have the same uh, camshaft, cam timing. So all of that is the same. Basically what you're seeing here is just the effect of having more cubic inches. And in this case for torque production, bigger is better. So now let's introduce the six liter and see where that takes us. Okay guys, we took a lot of look at our comparison between the 4.8 and here is the 5.3. And we saw the 5.3 naturally made more torque than the 4.8. It's bigger, basically everything else is kind of the same, but when we go up in displacement, we add more torque. Now let's see what happens when we add the 6 liter to the equation. So here's why people pick a 6 liter over 4.8 or 5.3. And this is even before we make any modifications. All of these are basically just stock. Again, the 6 liter has the truck intake manifold and the truck throttle body. We ran it with the same headers. The 6 liter in this case has different cylinder heads. It has the 317 heads. And it has, I think that the compression is a little bit lower. This was an LQ4. It has a mild cam. This was an early one, uh, so I'm not, I'm actually not sure which 
which uh, camshaft that this thing had it on. I don't know if it had the 4853 cam, which the real early one shared, or the next generation. In either case, you can see it made um, pretty good power. It made over 400 horsepower, 405. Peak torque was up at 439 foot-pounds of torque. And again, we didn't. I didn't run it quite as low as I would have wanted to. But you can see the trend here. It would continue to be a good 50, 60, 70 foot-pounds better than the 5.3, which itself is about 50 better than the 4.8. Because we went up from, you know, we, we went from 4.8 to 5.3 liter, and then from 5.3 liter to 6 liter. So basically, you know, the bigger motor, makes more torque and kind of does this everywhere which is nice and very important if you're looking at the at the important range down low and the reason for that is because it's very difficult to improve the power down there the only things that really do it very well are one if you can increase displacement like we've shown here you can do it with very long runner intake manifolds you can do it with long tube headers and all of these things to a much more minor extent than obviously the displacement does you can do it with compression cam timing it's very hard to get power gains at 2000 rpm with almost any kind of cam timing so they have very little effect down in that RPM range, certainly less than the other things that I just mentioned. So now that we've taken a look at the 6 liter, let's find out how going to a big block 454 might improve low speed power. Now that we've compared the difference between the 4853 and 60 and showed the effective displacement in the LS family, let's introduce the Gen 6 454 again this was a bone stock motor from the wrecking yard starting out with a 4.8 liter and obviously you wouldn't compare those although if you want to see a very cool comparison take a look at the test i have up the video that i have up comparing when we ran turbos on both the 48 and the 454 and you'll actually see they both do impressively well so here is our our stock 4.8 liter 333 horsepower 343 foot pounds of torque here is a bone stock EFI 454. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the horsepower part of this so that we can just concentrate on the torque. This may it looks a little confusing since they weren't run at the same RPM. But what we see here is torque production for both motors. So the this is the, the blue is the torque curve of the 48 and the red is the torque curve of the 454. You can see they actually make close to the same torque number at 5,000 RPM because the torque is falling off rapidly for the 454. They're designed to run at low engine speeds, which this one is doing. But if you look here at 3,000, 31, 3,200, I mean, we have a big difference in torque. So we have 315 foot-pounds for the 48 and 485. So you have a 170 foot-pound gain from the displacement. But now let's take a look and see how it compares to the 5.3 because the interesting thing about the 5.3 is the 5.3 actually makes about the same peak power as the 454 does. They both make about 355 to 360 horsepower the way that we test them on the dyno. But as we can see, again, because of the displacement, the torque production for these two is dramatically different, especially below 5,000 RPM, which is where torque guys would be looking for truck applications. So again, even though the, the uh, 5.3 is better than the 4.8, Still at 3,200, we have 360 foot-pounds. Yeah, 360 foot-pounds at 3,300 compared to 485 or 86 foot-pounds. So a dramatic change in torque there and all the way down from off idle, basically all the way through up to 4,800 RPM where the little 5.3 would eventually be making more power than the big block does. So, but the question now is how does it compare to the six liter? So let's take a look at the torque curve of the six liter. Now we see the six liter actually is doing better than the 454 from about 42 or 4300 on out. It actually makes more torque than the big block does. But again, below that point, displacement really comes into play because displacement really is what dictates torque production down in this low RPM range. Now, obviously we can modify these and in part two of this test, I'm gonna show you some other changes that we make. So what happens if we run not stock motors? What if we run modified motors, even stroker motors of these different versions? So what if we do a 408, for instance, of out of the six liter and then also maybe do a stroker out of the 454. How does that stuff continue to compare? We'll take a look at that in part two. But for right now, you can see if you're interested in torque production below 42 or 4300 RPM, 
the six liter is not still not going to do as well as the big block 454. And if we take a look, we can see on the 454, we ran that with the stock factory fuel injection. Well, we ran a Holly HP management system controlling the stock intake manifold and, and fuel injection. But here's what happened when we put a carburetor on it. It loses a little bit down low, gains a little bit up top, and that's more pronounced on the horsepower curve. But that's what happens when we run a dual plane carburetor. It doesn't change it dramatically, but a little bit. But again, the takeaway from all this, if you're looking for low speed power, the single biggest thing that you can do to improve low speed power is to increase the displacement, but obviously you can also add boost. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay guys, before we get to our conclusion in this comparison between a bigger motor and a better motor, I want you to take a look at all of the playlists I have up on the channel. If you're watching this video, chances are you might be an LS guy or you might be a big block guy or you might be some other kind of guy that enjoys all of this stuff. Make sure to take out the playlists I have up on the channel. I cover all of the stuff. If you're an LS guy, I've got NA stuff. I've got power adder stuff. I've got rec port stuff. I've got cathedral stuff. If you're a big block guy, same thing. I got lots of stroker stuff and nitro stuff, blowers, turbos, all of that stuff it's all up in the playlist so make sure to check those out but right now we're going to take a look at the bigger versus better and in this comparison when you're looking at torque production especially torque production down low i think in the comparison between the better motor like the ls the 4853 and 60 i think that the bigger motor is actually better than the better motor and i say that only because it makes a lot more torque we saw that the 53 makes more torque than the 48 the 60 makes more torque than the 53 and the 454 or seven point four liter makes more torque than the six so but that's not the end of the discussion you might be asking yourself yeah richard especially the ls guys what happens if we make the ls even bigger what happens if we run a stroker motor what if we do it like a 408 out of the six liter we bore it and stroke it and make it bigger certainly it's going to make more power than the 454 yes it might that's coming up in part two. But what happens if we then bore and stroke the 454 up to 489 or 496 inches? All kinds of good stuff coming up in part two. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all that stuff. More testing coming up.